Welcome back here to Fox and Friends. Listen to this story now. The crisis in the Gulf getting bleaker by the day as attempts to stop the oil leak continue to fail. And it's now estimated that the leak is 10 times larger than originally thought. Some critics, though, say BP is not doing enough to clean up the catastrophe. In fact, accusing the company of ignoring new technologies that exist and that are available right now that would do the job. Glenn Rink is the president of Abtec Industries, and he says he has a solution that would work, and he joins us this morning from Phoenix. Glenn, nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you, too. Thank you. So the accusation, as you say, is that BP, the oil industry, is aware of new technologies that would be able to clean up this mess right now, but they're ignoring it. Is that the case? Well, what's, uh, in actuality, BP, like a lot of the oil companies, have uh, actually shielded themselves from the actual a great majority of the cleanup process. They've referred it over to what's called OSROs, oil spill response organizations. And those oil spill response organizations make the decisions about what kind of technologies are being used and how they're being used. Obviously, this doesn't relate to the capping of the, of the uh, pipe, but in the cleanup process, they really turn that over to third parties who who are motivated based on their own agendas to, to clean up the spill the way they see fit. And there's really no oversight by uh, BP or other companies to the best of our knowledge. Uh, and it certainly hasn't been the case for many, many years as we uh, attempted to pursue this market for a long time. Yeah, you went, after the, you went after the oil industry with the technologies that you developed. Um, and what's interesting about this smart sponge technology is that it would absorb all of this oil. We're going to show our audience that in a second. But I want to play a soundbite from you from Doug Suttles. He's a BP spokesperson who says, we're doing everything we can do. Take a listen. We've mounted the largest response ever in the world here. We've already spent over $450 million. Uh, we're throwing every resource required at this problem. Um, and I think I'd just ask people to judge us on what we're doing. Uh, we're not talking about limits on liability. We're talking about doing what needs to be done. Okay, so you heard that, Glenn. We're doing everything that we can possibly do. Is that a lie? I would say that they probably are doing everything that they feel that they can do, and I believe that they're probably outsourcing majority of the cleanup work because they don't have the infrastructure to do that. And the majority of those companies that are, in fact, doing that type of cleanup work have their own private agenda. And that is not necessarily to bring in new technology. And that's why private industry has really not been motivated to try to bring about positive change. Entrepreneurs and vendors and things of that nature coming in to try to improve this process have been really pushed back by a lot of these oil spill response organizations. Now, you have so, developed uh, what's known as smart sponge. You've gone after the oil industry for years. And what you say is that it does a full absorption. And you have it there in the studio with you in Phoenix. Can you show us how this works and how it's better than what's currently being used? Sure. Uh, first of all, I'm holding up a piece of it. It's called Smart Sponge. It's, uh, this is a popcorn form, but it can be molded in pretty much any shape or size. So you can deploy it in any kind of application depending on the need. And when we approached the oil industry in the, in the 90s, they basically uh, told us that we had to speak to the oil spill recovery companies. And uh, we, we provided a demonstration on the technology to them, which I'll give you today. And it's, it's a very simple test. I'm going to take some clean water and I'm going to take some used motor oil, uh, okay. uh, similar to what you might see in a Valdez cleanup or, or possibly a... Uh, uh, an industrial spill or an industrial spill. I'm, I'm not sure if the camera can catch this, but yeah, we have hopefully it there. they can. Go ahead, Glenn. Yeah, if you want to stick that. We have about 30 seconds left if you just, okay. you know, for timing purposes here. Okay. And all I'm going to do is uh, simply close this and then shake it up so you can see the contaminated water. Right. And then all, all I'm going to do is pass it through some smart sponge material, and you can see the speed at which it has the ability to remove the contaminants from the water. I'm hopeful that you can see this. Um, it's a fairly thick, quick process, and all it does is remove the contaminants out of the water on contacts. contact. It turns it into a solid, and under any amount of pressure, you cannot squeeze it back out, so it's permanently bonded. Unbelievable. So I can, see, I can see the water going right through there, and it's, coll it's collecting in that j jar beneath you, and all the oil is being captured by the smart sponge technology. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, we hope that BP is paying attention this morning. That's unbelievable. Coming up on the show, we're going to talk to a whistleblower who's been talking.